knowledge shall increase. The Bible is a book full of prophets, and if you look from the book of Genesis right through the book of Revelation, you will struggle to find a prophet like Daniel. Daniel is a prophet like no other. He is one of the five prophets who are described as the major prophets in the Bible. He is a prophet that God raised up while the children of Israel were in captivity in Babylon. God revealed strange and unusual things to Daniel. Strange and unusual things that we can see happen in our world today. Today we are going to focus on Daniel 12 verse 4. Let the Bible record speak. Daniel 12 verse 1 to 4. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life, and some to shame, and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. There are different explanations given by Bible commentaries for Daniel 12 verse 4, and all seem to have some validity. All the interpretations have extremely valid points. The purpose of this sermon is to present the two major interpretations and then leave you to reach your own conclusion as to which one you agree with most. The first interpretation is that people will travel in the end time with more sophisticated technology, such as using jets, buses, trains or the ship. There would be different means of transportation that would be fast. People will use these to move from one place to another and an increase in knowledge signifies technology growing. Realizing that the context refers to the time of or close to the Great Tribulation verse 1 and the first interpretation of this verse is that there will be a general increase in the knowledge of mankind. In other words, there will be an explosion of knowledge. This belief argues that the phrase, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased, refers to the unique worldwide travel in the end time, with cars, buses, trains, rockets, and airplanes, as well as the increase of physical knowledge. This view is believable particularly if you look at the rate in which the world's knowledge is evolving. According to Moore's law, every 18 months, computer processing speeds double. The world is changing at an astronomical pace. 30 years ago, you would not even be able to listen to me right now. There were no smartphones. Listen to this paraphrased quote from Big Think. For the vast majority of human existence, it was safe to assume that the world in which you died would look pretty much the same as the one in which you were born. But that is no longer the case, says futurist Ray Kurzweil. We won't experience a hundred years of progress in the 21st century. It will be more like 20,000 years of progress at today's rate wrote Kurzweil. Just think about how much things have changed in the last 20 years. Wireless internet, smartphones, social media, 
and then try to imagine how vastly different things will be in 2031 or even 2100. These are some predictions from Kurzweil. Energy. Solar power, which relies on nanotechnology, will be cheap enough and powerful enough to power the entire world within 20 years, says Kurzweil. Neuroscience. Projects to reverse engineer the brain will construct a full synthetic model by 2029, says Kurzweil, giving us greater insight into how the brain thinks. Genetics. Within 10 years, we will all have digital copies of our genome, leading to medical therapies that are personalized to our individual genetic makeup. Nanotechnology. As robots get smaller and smaller, we will be able to insert them into our bodies to repair damaged or aging tissue. These are just some predictions. But look at some facts about technology increasing. For thousands of years, the number one mode of transportation was horseback. But now we can send people into space. There are even private companies taking people to space, as if it is just taking someone to a different city. Look at the increase in knowledge. The smartphone you have in your hand is staggeringly more powerful than the computers they had 50 years ago. The first computers ever made used to fill up a whole room, but your smartphone that fits in your pocket has more computing power than those computers. Knowledge shall increase. Just in the first decade of the 21st century, there have been so many advancements in biotech, nanotech, artificial intelligence, fusion and fission, and M-theory. Knowledge is increasing, ladies and gentlemen. God created the human mind, which is so unique to his other creations. Just look at how different our world is in comparison to 200 years ago. The second interpretation is supported by commentaries and Bible school who hold the position that Daniel 12 verse 4 is not referencing travel and physical knowledge but is actually referencing the search of the scriptures and the gaining of spiritual knowledge. This view holds the perspective that people will go to and fro in the scriptures searching them continuously to see whether the things are so, and as a result, there will be increase in knowledge. The Jamieson Fawcett Brown Bible Commentary agrees with this perspective and states that the phrase run to and fro, found in Daniel 12 verse 4, is not referring to the modern rapidity of transportation as some think, nor is it referring to Christian missionaries going about to preach the gospel to the world at large, which the context scarcely admits. But, whereas now but few care for this prophecy of God, at the time of the end, that is, near its fulfillment, many shall run to and fro, that is, scrutinizing the scripture, running through every page, it is thereby that the knowledge, namely, of God's purposes as revealed in prophecy, shall be increased. This is probably now being fulfilled. The Jamieson Fawcett Brown Bible Commentary is not the only commentary that holds this perspective. There are a range of other Bible commentaries who interpret to and fro to mean running one's eyes to and fro over the pages of the Holy Bible. For instance, the Ellicott's commentary for English readers states that the phrase many shall run to and fro, that the verb to run is used in Jeremiah 5 verse 1 of searching after knowledge. In this sense, it is used of the eyes of the Lord, Zechariah 4 verse 10. In the same sense, it is used in this verse. Many will anxiously search in this book for knowledge of the manner of God's dealings with his people, 
and will derive comfort and understanding therefrom. Therefore, there will be an increase in knowledge. In other words, people will be looking for answers. People will want to know more about the things to come. People will desire to find answers and know what will happen in the future. They will want to know about the end time. And as a result, people will begin to understand more and more about the Bible. Between the two interpretations of Daniel 12 verse 4 that I have detailed, which one do you agree with more?